Well, for all the good technology does us, it also brings us new high-tech ways to violate each other's rights. Tony Fama visited a local shopping mall today and found spy gadgets that would make James Bond proud. You're making me do something I don't want to do. In Sliver, the role of the peeping Tom is enhanced by technology. Sharon Stone's boyfriend has his electronic eye on virtually everyone living in his apartment building. But it's a movie. It isn't real. Or is it? This St. Petersburg neighborhood is much like many others in the area. It's quiet. It's a place to come home to. But just last week, a man who lived here pleaded guilty to listening in to many of his neighbor's phone conversations. Elizabeth Henry is one of those neighbors. It reminded me of being overexposed. Remember, he not only had the telephone conversations, he had my business transactions. As part of his sentence, Lawrence Baxter can't set foot in the neighborhood for five years. As far as our civil rights, uh, they are really going down the tubes quickly. Mike Paris sells all types of spying gadgets. For the criminal mind, the opportunities are endless. $700 can buy a video camera the size of a credit card and a transmitter. If you plant the camera in a clock and give it to your neighbor as a gift, you can sit back and watch. All you have to do is set up the transmitter and turn your television on. Paris has heard all the stories. Well, they have mentioned to me that, oh, well, this is my house and I have a right to do something in my house, but uh, we refuse to sell them the equipment. Paris stresses it's illegal to install any listening device in a private home without an okay from a court. And I'll tell you how violated I felt. I called in January of 1992 when I had a feeling he might have invaded. I couldn't prove it. I called the rape crisis line. For Elizabeth Henry, progress includes some scars. Tony Fama, 10 News. Now, the people at the spy booth defend their products as useful tools for businesses that, say, may suspect workers of theft or maybe making a lot of long-distance calls on company time. In those cases, the gadgets can be both handy and legal. Tally news around Florida.